And it looks like we're about ready, so I'm gonna throw things on over to Abney. Best of luck. Hey, everyone. Gonna be playing some Mario Kart 64 150cc with skips. Uh, I'm Abney. We've got Haddock, Micro, and Weatherton on the couch. And uh, as an added bonus for this large <laughs> skips run, Marty has been unlocked for yes. the run. On commentary. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm just gonna count this down and uh, we'll get going here. So three, two, one, go. go. So uh, right at the beginning of uh, Luigi Raceway, he's gonna spin around and touch a certain part of a polygon so that when he knocks himself out of bounds, he's gonna be placed back where the game thinks he's gonna be. And uh, right now he's looking to get triple reds, ideally, so he can knock himself up out of bounds. We'll take a blue shell. Yeah, blue okay. shell work. Yeah, blue work. Come on. Yes. Oh, oh. nice. Uh-oh. That's all right. All right, so he's gonna back up. Try yep. again. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. That's not good. There we go. Heck yeah, nice. Picked this up. Is a nice. Beck Abney original. Beck discovered this shortcut. It's the Japanese version only yeah. shortcut. So we are playing the Japanese version. Yep, Japanese 1.1. Nice one. Sorry to interrupt, but we just met $400,000. Nice. nice. Awesome. <laughs> All right. He's getting, he grabbed the blue shell there. That. Oops. Oh, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Always DK. Always. That hot air balloon always gives you a blue shell. And the nice thing is the blue shell tracks first place. So, so yeah, so you can just <laughs> easy hit. hit yourself. <laughs> nice work. I know Skip's time of like 140 would be pretty good there. Heck yeah, so, <laughs> absolutely. So that's still saved a lot of time there. So uh, now on Moo Moo Farm, there aren't any skips that we've found yet. Yes. But we're really hoping. They're yeah. coming. We're really hoping. They're coming. <laughs> I'm not so sure they're coming. Yeah, I'm, I, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think so either. I've searched pretty hard. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's just such a simple. <laughs> so course. unlikely. Yeah, there's not much you could do here. Yeah. And a very, very tall uh, fences on the side. Mm -hmm. And then it's all void in the middle, so yeah. you can't even drive through the middle. So in time trials, these moles are, are pretty frustrating because they're the one random element in time trials that you have to deal with. And they the same thing every every lap and still hit one. <laughs> they, they talked about that in the Mario Kart DS run mm -hmm. where they're not random in that game. Oh, really? Yes, but in this one they are. Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, and other random elements for, for Beck and 150 are all the items. So there's an item table that we have that tells you that mushroom in first is a 10% chance. Um, there's other items that are lower, 5% chance for red shells, blues, things like that. But what you'll notice is Beck is doing a lot of mini turbos, and the mini turbo in this game is particularly complicated to pull off, although Beck makes it look like it's not, because he's getting, like, hundreds. <laughs> yeah, because he's a monster yeah. in this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but every mini turbo is a seven phase process in Mario Kart 64. <laughs> it's pretty unreal. So now coming up on Koopa Troopa Beach. Uh, no, Noko, 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 Noko. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> uh, there's just that one jump into the cave, but uh, in this stage we're gonna see him try to utilize an eighth place item glitch. Um, he's gonna grab the last set of items, then go to the right of the um, uh, the finish line. And what he wants to do is, right before he crosses the finish line, he's gonna trigger the end of the item roulette. And uh, just for a moment, the game thinks that you're in eighth place. So therefore, you can get an eighth place item. So if you watch here, he'll go off the ramp, go off to the side. Oh, I don't think it even. I didn't. Did yeah. even show yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it was just a little early. Triggered a little early there. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, because you, you can't get a green shell in eighth, so he must have triggered early, mm -hmm. but. But if you keep an eye on the first yeah. place indicator, you'll actually see it trip to eighth for... Just for a moment. Yep. Yeah. You can also, a little bit easier way to do it is if you get a boo, 
you can go over there even wider and, and get more Right. Fun. Yeah, that way you don't have to go around for the items. You can just go straight to it, too. There we go. Oh, oh wow. yeah. That was an eighth place item. Yeah, but. yeah. <laughs> Not a great item, but, you know. Yeah. Interesting thing about the lightning is you may see Beck get hit by one in this run. Although the CPUs cannot use shells, they can pick up shells, but they can't use them. Uh, they can use a lightning. There's a 1% chance that the eighth place computer item will use a uh, lightning. Right. It's, it's so rare, but at the same time, I've seen people get bolted time and time again. Yeah. Nice work. Yeah. I think, uh, I think the worst luck I ever saw was... Um, uh, this guy that's a little bit new to the community, his name is Brian underscore Matthew. Shout outs to. Um, he got bolted four times in a row <laughs> in, in two courses. I've never seen luck like wow. that. That's yeah. pretty bad. Yeah. That's a bad streak. Kara Kara Desert here. All right. So <laughs> yeah. in this one, there's a developer intended strat where if you go backwards through the tunnel that the train goes through with a star, the lap advances. But Abney's going to do it in a little bit of a different way here. So let's see if what he gets. Hopefully he gets a good item. <laughs> not, and that, so good. That not a good and item. That kills him. <laughs> yeah. So we'll go we'll go around again. We'll see what we get. Literally the worst item. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anything but that'll work. <laughs> Anything. I think was, he's gonna try and farm for items here. Yeah, you basically are stuck okay. waiting for the golden shroom. So we can use this one. It's, I don't he's not actually gonna do the, the shortcut we're thinking of here, but I might might sandbag again actually. Okay. <laughs> Probably safe to do here. Yeah. Yeah, you're... So he wasted those shrooms. He's going to sandbag. No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> we were talking about that item RNG. And, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. Can we get some bless RNG in the yeah. chat? We got one more <laughs> chance here. Come, so, on. Come on. Come on. The things that affect the. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> That's that marathon luck right there. All right, now we just wow. got to get in fourth place or higher, please. <laughs> <laughs> about as bad as it gets. Yeah. Yep, yep, that was unfortunate. Although there's debate of whether coming in lower than fourth place is uh, disqualification on the fourth race of a cup. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, <laughs> Beck's going to uh, reset right when he crosses the line here. Um, not this line, but the finish <laughs> line, yeah. <laughs> Spoke a little early. But um, it's funny, we actually, the, the tradition essentially, for when we reset between between cups is a little bit early. You, If it was a fresh cartridge where you hadn't unlocked anything, you wouldn't actually get the cup when yep. we reset the game. But it's tradition. Let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. When, does it, when does it proc it's for that? It's after yeah. the score screen goes. It's like a certain level. It's like what, player three shows up or something? Yeah. Is, that the, is that like the total points? Yes. And it's just yeah. like that's when it is? Yeah, once like the third player shows up. Yep. Still a solid mushroom cup. Or Kinoko Cup. <laughs> it's, yeah, the different language versions have very different cup names. <laughs> yeah. The Chinese version calls the special cup the IQ Cup. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, so he's going to do an interesting shortcut here. He's first going to get stuck in the wall here, come back down, and then jump through the wall and land down, down halfway end. through the corner. Nice. Course. Nice. Now, what Now, what happened there was, when he got stuck in the wall, um, Lakitu picked him up, but Lakitu's still on the screen when he put him back down. And when Lakitu's on, still on screen, you can't get picked up again. So he can't get stuck in the wall, so he can go right through it and right. land down on the ground. But now, because he let, got stuck in the wall the first time, it triggered a glitch that the game thinks you fell off there. So now he's gonna put you right back. Now, when you fall off again, it puts you halfway through the course. So now he's halfway done with lap two. And he's just going to repeat this again. And this is, ooh. ooh. Ooh, wombo combo. And this is why he's using Japanese 1.1 yes. instead of 1.0. Yeah, this, you, you actually can do it in 1.0. Yeah, the second skip there was introduced when they patched something else. <laughs> we still don't know what. <laughs> yeah. They fixed, <laughs> fixed it and broke something else. And broke this. It's like programming 101 in a nutshell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I see you, Toad. <laughs> Toad saved me. <laughs> the cars are on a set schedule, so it's it's consistent, but that he still was makes still it look, unfortunate. He makes it look yeah. like a breeze, though, dodging him. <laughs> He's bananas, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's getting run over. Wow. 
toad. Say a toad too. <laughs> Floating out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the computer players actually are, they have a tendency to drive off the course. And when you see them, the physics takes place, and we just saw if you get picked up. Back between, if you're going to run this game, first of all, go to speedrun.com and check out the Mario Kart 64 rankings there. Mm -hmm. Vex number one by a minute and a half. Uh, <laughs> which is pretty insane, to be honest. Yeah. This is a difficult category. Yeah, by a large amount. So he's, he's going to be confusing the checkpoints again. He's going to be going off of the uh, off of the bridge, and he goes directly um, uh, to the side of the road, not touching the road itself, so that when he crosses over, if the the Lakitu is going to pick him up and put him back where it thinks he should be, but it skips the whole lap in the process. Yeah. So rinse and repeat, and this one is short work. Yeah. The game has some checks, basically. If you're um, far enough beyond the finish line or far enough in front of the finish line, it lets certain things slide. And, um, that's Lakitu, a good example of it. Yeah, that's an example. Huge. Lakitu teleports you back behind the finish line. All right, now here we're hoping for a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> one, of the, yeah. one of the most difficult yeah. tricks in the game, the one that Beck is the best in the world at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, made the three out of three. Yeah, uh, Weather Tenko is just a portmanteau of Greg Inatenko and Drew Weatherton to our left here. The pioneers of the trick itself, but Abney is going to... Oh, oh, yes! All right, yes. Yes. All right. Oh, he's waiting. He's waiting yeah, wait yeah, till yeah. third lap. <laughs> Normally in a run, you wouldn't now attempt what, this ever. Now what you're going to see <laughs> is he's going to get to the finish line. He's going to turn, turn to the side and boost at the wall in a certain way. And if he gets it, instant lap. Good things happen. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it, because he didn't make that skip, yeah, there's a there's a backup right here that's pretty pretty good to get into. That first one that right, he got on go. the first lap is actually very challenging. Very chance tough. here. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. oh. Nice try. Good yeah. attempt. Nice try. Good attempt. All right. Yeah. It, it, that, that is such a low chance. What was your percentage? Like 6%? And that's, were... in, that's in time trials. Yeah, yeah in time yeah. trials yeah, when you're just, just constantly doing it. It's way uh, harder in 150. Way, yeah, because you're going so much faster. Time trials is 100cc, so you're going a little bit slower. It's easier just to hone in on that spot. He also can repeat this course constantly. You're right, every Tw six seconds. 20,000 times. Yeah, <laughs> Which, give or take. Yeah. He also... He also has a specific controller dedicated to that trick. And something I'm doing between the tracks here, I'm holding start while I'm mashing A, and it makes the point screen go faster for whatever reason they programmed that into the game. All right, so here at Mario Raceway, he's going to be buffering for um, some triple reds again in hopes to knock himself over the wall on the other side of uh, the brick wall here. So we'll see what he gets. He may. Oh, oh wow. not again. <laughs> All right, he'll do a backup here. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit slower, but. There nice. Nice. Very nice. That's the traditional. Now, I can hope for a single red shell, but it's pretty unlikely to get yeah, the first. 5%. But so he'll yeah. just go around now. Yeah. could get a boo and then get a, a red shell from the boo. Yep. A boo just acts as another item box with a 20% chance of nothing. Yeah, when you're in multiplayer, it actually steals an item, but in True. GP, it just it's it like an item gives box. Gives you nothing, yeah. And it's the same as what, no, it's, it's any item, right? Uh, it's based on your place, yeah. Okay, it's based on your place, okay. Yeah, it's just like an item box. Yep. Okay. But it also gives you the chance of getting nothing. Yeah, which is right. great. Just like, yeah. <laughs> you get some invincibility. You do. That's true. You yeah, get... for all those pesky lightnings. Oh, yeah. And that's Flower Cup. <laughs> all right, so onward to Star Cup. He's going to be going to Wario Stadium for a short time. Yeah, another short course. <laughs> yeah. What's normally like the second longest course becomes one of the shortest. This wall on the left looks 
looks like you could jump it, right? Well, well yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now this one not so much. This, this one. Yeah, this uh, one. This one's a little bit tougher because you only have one frame to to jump over. But he he beats it as he always does. <laughs> yeah, you got to jump just the right time. It's maybe one or two frames depending on the angle. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you get zero framed, yeah, or you just tumble. If the game decides you're in the wall in that frame. Oh! Whoa. What? <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Have we seen that before? Uh, very, I want to uh, say we've never. Very unusual. <laughs> that that has never happened before. <laughs> I've never seen somebody hit the wall. Off of it, yeah. yeah. No. Usually, usually you get stuck, and the the Lakitu will pick yeah. you up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It happens, but I got some yeah. pretty big air off that yeah. too. Yeah. Shout outs to everybody playing AGDQ Bingo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a not too many shortcuts here. I'll just be playing this one non-shortcut. I do uh, point out the penguins are just on cycle, so they aren't really random. I know where they're going to be, hopefully. And Usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some crazy jumps you can do off of the CPUs that uh, Weatherton has done in the TAS run, but uh, I won't be going for any of those. So uh, now would be a pretty good time for some donations. Absolutely. You got it. We have a $15 donation from TDK. Hey, Abney, TDK here. Glad I'm finally getting to catch you live this year, which means I can donate during your segments. Good luck with your run. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. We have an anonymous $150 donation. Good luck, Abney, on your run. Sorry I almost stole your controller. <laughs> <laughs> Must be Dan. <laughs> yeah. Not so anonymous after that. Yeah. <laughs> We have a $25 donation from Cody145. Mario Kart 64 is amazing. Glad to donate during this run. Good luck, Abney. I also have to support my friend Soraya as she announces. Great job, Soraya. Much love. Thank you, Cody. Interesting fact, you can drive on the island in the middle. And there's a shortcut involving that, so. But you can't make it out there. Yeah, yeah making yeah, it out there. Need, yeah. yeah, you need a ridiculous CPU jump to get out there. But it's just strange to me that they, they allowed that. Right, you'd think there'd be no collision because it's so far out. If you want to see that, check out Weatherton's task. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's actually awesome. useful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah if, you wanna, if you want to see it in 3D with a headset, check out Micro <laughs> 500. <laughs> rend render. He seriously made a 3D version. Yeah. Put your phone on your face and experience it. <laughs> All right, so there's a number of shortcuts here, but the the two he's going to be doing, um, the first one's up ahead. He's just going to jump off of the water and hit a, hit the wall in a certain spot. And the game was programmed that if you land, if you jump, if you fall off the, the bridge, it puts you anywhere near the bridge. It puts you back in the bridge. By hitting that wall, it makes you, it makes the game think you fell off the bridge. So it puts you back in the bridge, and that's a pretty good skip. This one's pretty obvious. It thinks you fell off over there, mm -hmm. so it puts you back over there. Back you're looking for the word poomp, <laughs> yeah. believe it or not. If you don't see poomp, it probably didn't work. And that second one only saves about a quarter of a second, but... Totally right, worth it. it, it absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but there's another version of that where you can get stuck... Lakitu can get stuck in the air trying to put you down over water, and then the game stalls out and decides it can't put you down, so instead it puts you at the finish line, <laughs> which saves yeah. an additional, what, like... Quarter second. Oh, it's more than that. I oh, think is it? Than, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one's David with the stutter. Especially if you do it on lap three, since you get placed on the finish. Mm -hmm. Backwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back. yeah. Somewhat diabolically. But it's what they do in the lap time trials. So you can force that glitch on any course, and what you what I realize is the game just gives up and puts you on the finish line if it can't put you down. Yeah, it's a backup in yeah. the Lakitu yeah. code <laughs> yeah. that if it can't put you down, it just defaults to the finish line. But <laughs> it gives you the lap if you're at least halfway through the lap. Yep. So it turns out this was at least halfway through. And the, it is not, to my knowledge, possible to actually make it all the way without uh, falling in the water, without jumping without off. Without jumping off a CPU, yeah. Without jumping off a CPU, yeah. yes. Quick work. Wow, look at that consistency lap, two lap three. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah, one millisecond. <laughs> All 
right, so coming up is Bowser Castle. Big shout out to Marty. You're gonna see Marty. <laughs> You're gonna see him hey. soon, check in the back. Unfortunately, he's never been let out of his jail cell. <laughs> Except for one custom course where he might, if you look closely, you might find him. Yeah, may maybe. <laughs> yeah. Micro one. Mountain. Yes. <laughs> the, the only legit custom Mario Kart 64 course by this man here. That was amazing. It's called Micro Mountain, but it's a very, very big mountain. <laughs> big mountain. Yeah. It's a, it, no, it's no, it's a, a large windy. mountain. Yeah, yeah it's large. A lar large mountain. <laughs> large. Yeah, it was cool. Like for like, whenever uh, whenever you released it, all the top players just were banging out runs oh, yeah. left and right, and even found a skip on it. I, I, I knew <laughs> about that skip, but there's no way to fix it. That's, I, that's where I bet the designers knew about some of the skips here, and they're like, uh, yeah, it's so hard. Oh, right, it was so, so much, much, you much do. to do. Yeah. Especially like the, the Royal Raceway skip we just saw off the bridge. Like, right. you, you don't want to do invisible walls, but. That's why I, I almost good. feel like in Rainbow Road, the, the jump off was probably intended. Almost. It's like uh, they were giving us a, an opportunity to skip the course, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, luckily. <laughs> it's a little bit too long, of course. A little bit, yeah. A single lap is the length of a, a, all the other races. Of all of them, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So these swamps also mostly on a cycle, other than these two these do two follow, yeah. Yeah, so Abdi knows where to go on which side on those that block the doorway. <laughs> Although now his cycle will be a little off. Right. But. Yeah, if you, if you fall a little bit behind or go a little bit too fast, you just kind of have to compensate and kind of, you know, wing it sometimes going down the hallways. And you saw a bunch of blue thwomps. Those weren't Marty. If you weren't looking closely enough, you missed them. He was behind bars. He was behind bars, yep. All right, final cup. Final cup. All right, here's Donkey Kong's laggy parkway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not, yeah, not this, as this first laggy part is so laggy. Yeah, luckily we're going to be turning around. Yeah, getting rid of a lot of the lag, but... They decided to put a riverboat in, and they really shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he's going to uh, go through the wall here where they join up, but he's going to stay inside of the cave, and it's going to think that he went the entire lap. Because the finish line, if you look at it on the map... Is, yeah, it's just, it just barely like extended out. But if you if you go just a little bit too far to the right, you'll still hit it, but you'll fall into the water that's below instead of staying in the cave. And if you go a little bit too far right, you get popped out into the jungle. Yeah. There's no shame in falling in the water, guys. Yeah, no, no. At least, yeah. at least you, at get least the you got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the worst is when you go too far left. <laughs> that was awesome. That was, that was that a really was good college. stage. Gold split. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll hold this banana behind me through the point screen. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah, reduce the lag a bit. Reduce lag, just literally just reducing For lag. whatever reason, holding a banana behind you reduces the lag. <laughs> we literally don't understand why zooming out further, which what a holding a banana does, yes. right. makes yeah. the game perform better. It doesn't make any sense. All right. So we're starting off here. He's going to try and buffer for triple shrooms. Uh, and if, if I was he does, assuming oh, maybe oh, he's, he's not going to go yeah. for it. All right, yeah, so we're going right. to do the backup. Okay, this, of a normal this, no, this is yeah, this is, relatively this is much new. safer. This is much safer. Relatively new. Beck yep. found this as well. So Luigi Raceway and Yoshi what he'll do Bell. here, he's gonna go past this fence, turn around, the drive off. Oh, there's the lap. Skip the lap. <laughs> Only works if you take the right, far right path for some reason. Yeah, I I, I did track down why, but I cannot explain it on stream because it would take about half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so check out your Twitch channel. Maybe. Yeah. Yep. yep, yep. It, it involves that the game is programmed to have four different paths through this course, and you switch paths. It's, it's insane how complicated that trick is, but it looks it's actually really simple to understand. So now, having got this shoe, he's going to turn to the side here, and he's going to do the same thing, except right off, kind of aiming for that big mark. And basically, if you, if you bounce to the left, you, you got it. And it puts you beyond the finish line. But still counts it. But <laughs> close enough. <laughs> Yeah. 
So I want to know, Beck, how did you find that? Because it requires that you take the slow path, and you're a speedrunner. Yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> someone was doing a blindfolded run. It was uh, Almo, the uh, Paper Mario El runner. Yeah. yeah, he was uh, doing a blindfolded run, and I think he went that direction, and it accidentally softlocked the game. And <laughs> so I did some exploration <laughs> of the right path uh, and ended up accidentally kind of finding that you could just trigger the whole lap by jumping across to the finish line right awesome. there. So Banshee Boardwalk, there's no no skips yet on this one. Although there is the CPU jump. Yeah, but that's not really <laughs> yeah, there, well, there, not, not gonna happen. Uh, yeah, there's two different CPU jumps you could do. And one of them, you jump into that bathhouse from the finish line area, which is kind of cool. So might be a good time for donations. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. We have a $10 donation from Iggy Zig. My arms aren't swinging from side to side, but I am taking one step to help fight cancer with this donation, and I implore everyone else to do the same. Come on, it's time to do it, to go do the Mario with your heart. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> yeah, that was in a, the that was best, good reaction, worst right? spot. Yeah, that was a good reaction. <laughs> so the CPUs, they do not shoot the shells they pick up, but they, they certainly drop those bananas. Many bananas. Bananas can be in death on this course. Looks like you got DK in second place too. <laughs> True. Are yeah. You, the, are, are you going for? It? Yeah. The, the <laughs> game. Thought... The game actually decides uh, during the character select screen what uh, two characters are gonna rubber band the most. Yeah. They're your rivals. Yeah. We call them yeah, rivals. rivals. Yeah. And in this case, I guess DK is your main rival, most likely. It does seem that, that the main rival does do even better than the yeah. secondary rival. He's quite definitely, a bit ahead of the other CPUs. Yeah. yeah. So, Beth, are you going to go for the... I, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, his controller <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't have the range it's of motion. It's not worth right. it. There's a shortcut on Rainbow Road that's coming up next where he can turn around in place with the start boost and jump off second player. but And it gets him pretty far ahead, but his, it's not the easiest thing to do. It's not very safe. So you're just going to go spiral straight up? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull out a, a quick spiral. <laughs> so you do, yeah, do the jump. The, the one that everybody thought to do right when you start playing this game. Yeah. Nice work. And uh, now that he's ahead, he's going to try and get a, uh, a green shell because he's going to knock himself over the uh, over the wall at the end of the stage. And what it's what's going to happen is he's going to actually travel past the uh, uh, the finish line, and then the Lakitu is going to pick him up and put him back behind again. It's a lot Let, like Snowlands. Yep. Yeah, feed DK. Feed DK. Yeah, yeah, feed okay. the DK. It's supposed to give you good, uh, yeah, good, good RNG, but let's see. <laughs> yeah. Still no greens to be seen. I mean, it's always marathon luck. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, actually, the so mushrooms good are good right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we need a green pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah, you really only get like two tries before they uh, before they catch back up. Right. Yeah, so you can only get uh -oh. red. You can't do it with a red for a couple reasons. One is it's hard to hit yourself with a red because it seeks to the middle of the course and then goes to the next character. So he's and probably gonna pull over here differently. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. There we go. Still need another. Gonna one. try for another. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> yes. So now, now that he got that one, now he's going to be a uh, whole extra lap Should ahead. Be safe now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he has a lot of time. Still could be farming for a while, depending on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who knows? Yeah. The RNG we've seen this run, it's yeah. been dubious. <laughs> so just a green, any green would work. Come on. Come on, green. Oh. <laughs> And uh, a blue wouldn't work either. Even though it's easy to hit yourself with the blue, you, you tumble really strangely from blues and reds, and it doesn't give you the distance. You need. Banana. Wow. Yeah. DK. Oh, banana. Do we, do we need to go feed DK a little more? Oh my oh, goodness. Oh man. Nope. <laughs> Drop out the other one. Oh nope. gosh. No way. Wow. <laughs> Wait, can you, uh, can you, you tell me what the... Here. Now we got to figure out okay, yeah, what is that the odds this of getting no green at all. Oh, there we go. go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, no. all. Six yeah. greens. Just chuck no. Them. No. no. He needs them. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Okay. Oh. Lost one. Luckily, we got some backups. 
Or Another backup. Plenty, plenty of backups. All right. Here all we right. go. All right. All right. All right. Come on. <laughs> so now he just has to drive across the finish line. Yeah, that was, that was despite the RNG and this and that, that was a great run. All right, time Hit. ends when I cross the finish here. So, time. Yeah. Good run, Beck. Yeah, Good, nice job. That was, that was awesome. Yeah, so you're, if you're interested in uh, checking out some more Mario Kart 64 speed running or anything, uh, all the time trial stuff is over at MarioKart64.com, and uh, speedrun.com has the full game runs like this one. And uh, yeah, thanks for commentating, Couch Guys. Thanks, thanks for running. Yeah, Mar thanks for Marty running. especially. Marty, yeah, yeah. yeah, Marty, yeah. yeah. yeah give it up here. for Marty. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, thanks, BDQ. That was an awesome run. Let's hear it for Abney one more time. We have a $50 donation that's anonymous. Here's to reaching 400K, loving the runs and the cause. Thank you so much for that donation. We're gonna play a quick break and then we'll be back. Stay with us. Tokyo Attack specializes in bringing rare, import Japanese games to conventions and events all across the country, featuring titles such as Ubeat, Chunathim, Mai Mai, Taiko no Tatsujin, and much, much more. They host America's largest collection of independently owned import arcade cabinets. Check them out at facebook.com slash tokyoattackgaming and twitter.com slash tokyoattack.
All right, and we're going to kick it over to an interview uh, with Abney um, on his recent Mario Kart 64 run. Take it away. Hey guys, I'm Blecky here with Abney, who just got done with an awesome MK64 run. Uh, how'd, you, how'd you like the run? It was pretty good. Uh, didn't have the best luck, but yeah. that's how it goes. Yeah. Kind of expect that in a GDQ run, I yeah. feel like. So, right. yeah, <laughs> it went pretty well. Nice. I mean, my big question is just kind of how do you find these skips? Because if we, we have this clip um, pr uh, ready for, from uh, the DK level, yeah. and that's kind of one of the big stages where I see just like this, this huge skip where I have no idea what's going on. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Um, can you just kind of walk us through kind of what is going, once more, what's going on in this particular clip? Yeah, so you kind of line up with the corner, you can clip through the wall, and you're actually crossing the finish line there. It sort of extends out to the edge. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just land in back in the cave, so it thinks you drove around the entire lap. And these things are just found, a lot of these shortcuts were found like back right after the game came out. Most credit goes to a guy named David Wan, mm -hmm. who just destroyed the game, found tons of shortcuts. Uh, and I mean, like this yeah. might be a question for him, but it applies to kind of any skips you maybe yeah. might still be finding. But um, how do you find this stuff? Is it like somebody was just racing normally yeah. and just took an angle weirdly? Uh, or? Very likely. Um, of course, you know, you find one thing and you're like, oh, maybe I could try this somewhere yeah. else. So, you know, you try something like Frap Snowland, you do sort of a lap skip where the track is 30 seconds long. Um, so you kind of try that. There's a similar one on Rainbow Road. So mo a lot of things apply to other tracks. So yeah. you accidentally find one, and it turns into you yeah. finding some others on purpose. So. Got it. Um, so unfortunately, there is a lot of uh, luck and, manipula and uh, kind of manipulation, I guess, of items in this run. Um, you were saying you felt that this one didn't go so well. Yeah. Is there anything you can do to, like, how exactly do you control kind of what item yeah. you get, make it more likely? Well, you know the randomness of the items is just based on what place you're in. Mm -hmm. So if you're in eighth, there's a certain set of items you can get, and you have a certain percentage of getting each item. So I can kind of up my chances by, you know, if I want triple shrooms, I might go into fifth or sixth place because I know I've got the best chance of getting that item in those places. Yeah. But uh, a lot of the time, it's just I go into eighth place because all the good items are when you're right. way in the back. So, so I mean, when you're just do, uh, drilling these runs and doing Luigi's Circuit, yeah. are you finding yourself resetting on the very first level? Yes. If, I'm, I do want triple red shells on, uh, on the first track. And those are actually 20% in every single place uh -huh. except first. You can't go oh, okay. first. So I, uh, it's like I pick up, I usually just grab two items and go. So it's like ends up being around a 30% chance gotcha. that maybe I can get some other items, maybe two blue shells instead. Yeah. So it ends up being kind of one third of the runs I can continue. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, I definitely reset on Got the it. first track quite a bit. Um, speaking of luck, there was one particular moment in this run which kind of had me laughing out loud. You, you probably were not laughing, who knows. <laughs> but uh, I want to bring up this clip uh, because it was just too funny seeing this. It was from Toad's Turnpike. I don't mean to give you like post-traumatic stress or anything from this, but yeah. uh, it was from Toad's Turnpike. Uh, and I see you just kind of like hitting a banana accidentally. <laughs> you not only hit that school bus, but then the this other combo. truck. Yeah, <laughs> it's you as well. Let's watch that yeah. once more. I mean, is there, I guess you guys were saying kind of that these, the, the pathing is deterministic, but. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know where the cars are. Uh, the items for uh, some part, the CPUs gen generally will drop their items mostly in the same place. Uh -huh. um, if, but it's kind of one of those things where if I mess up on the track, it kind of manipulates the rest mm -hmm. of the randomness. So CPUs will start dropping items in places where I'm not used to it on a perfect run. Yeah. And then, you know, I end up hitting a banana, or and now all of a sudden I'm a few more seconds behind. And then I usually might, if I'm going for world record attempts or something, I might have just reset at yeah. that point. So I might not be as used to the traffic patterns at, at that type of pace. Gotcha. Um, let's go ahead and uh, load up a few Twitter questions we, we have here. Um, what, uh, so from West Point Steve, which skip that we saw today was the hardest one for you to learn? Oh, man. You know, a lot of these I definitely learned from time trials and just they carried over. Um, I know I attempted the weather tanko on Chaco Mountain. Um, I didn't hit it because it's nearly impossible. Yeah. Um, that one probably, I played that one for probably six months before mm -hmm. I even hit it a single time. So that one Whoa. definitely had the longest amount yeah. of time. Uh, 
but uh, yeah, a lot of them, it's very similar. Like the Chaco Mountain wall jumps are very similar to the Warrior Stadium yeah. wall jumps. So I learn one, and then I kind of adapt it. it on the other ones. Adapt but uh, the other. I, usually, when a, a new skip comes around, if it's shell jumps, jumping off of players or something, it's it's not more than maybe a day of yeah. practice to try to implement it in a run. But uh, depending on the difficulty, I might not go for the craziest stuff yeah. at a marathon run that might have taken a lot more practice. But it's, you know, you can learn them quick, but it definitely takes a long time yeah. to really master right, right. all those. Got it. Another question we have here is from Entry Level Fox. Uh, which is your favorite Mario Kart game, if not 64? <laughs> yeah, I get this one quite a bit. I, I really haven't played a lot of the other Mario Karts. I, mean, I actually have played them all except Mario Kart 7, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them not even for more than an hour. But uh, uh, I definitely like Mario Kart 8. It's, it's cool because it has nice graphics. And it, obviously, I would just be playing it casually. I'm not really speed running any of the other yeah. Mario Karts. So I, uh, I mean, I enjoy the new one just because it looks nice. Right. Uh, I don't know about you know the technical mechanics of the, the games, yeah. which ones are more better to drive on. Uh, I definitely have played a good amount of Double Dash, Mario Kart Wii, Super Mario Kart, but uh, I, I, I've played 64 a whole yeah. lot more than, <laughs> than the other ones, right. so it's hard to say. Yeah. And this is actually a question I had. Um, so um, we obviously just saw the skips run. Mm -hmm. There's also a no skips run, yeah. correct? Yeah. Um, so how exactly do you, find, do you define kind of what a skip is? Yeah, it's all based on the, the time trial community rules that were set you know, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. so someone just sort of decided, hey, these ones kind of seem in intended, these ones don't seem intended. Um, there's some kind of people argue over a few of them yeah. here and there, maybe uh, jumping the hairpin on Yoshi Valley uh -huh. is kind of a common one. Gotcha. But uh, yeah, we just base it off of the time trial rule set mm -hmm. of what's allowed. So like the Koopa Troopa Beach tunnel is allowed and yeah. non-shortcut, no skips uh, runs because it's like, relatively <laughs> clear that it's intended. Yeah. So. Um, is the community still finding new skips even now, or is it kind of cemented at this point? Very rarely, mm -hmm. um, especially, I mean, time trials is really the, the big thing. So a lot of the focus to finding new things would be for time trials. The weather tanko lap skip on Chaco Mountain is really the most recent mm -hmm. thing uh, that was discovered uh, in early 2014. And that was the first time trial shortcut that was found in 10 plus years. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that's really the newest one. We found a couple things in 150cc here and there. There's a little more room to find some weird things because you've got items and you can launch yourself off of other players and crazier stuff. But uh, it's really not common at this point. Yeah, to got it. Find much. Right, right, right. Do you follow the other game uh, game speedrunning communities at all? I, I do a little bit, uh, but <laughs> not not too much yeah. these days. I you know I'll keep up with some of the Mario Kart yeah. records if I see something big, but right. uh, not a ton actually. Got it. Did you grow up with this game? Yeah, I well I had the game when I was younger. I've got older siblings, yeah. so this game came out. I was probably like five, yeah. so it. Uh, I had the game probably around when it came mm -hmm. out. Um, I remember playing it with my with my brother some, and uh, I I probably put it away after the GameCube came out and randomly decided to pick it up again one day. Who was your later. character choice as a youngster? Yoshi, yeah. actually. Wow. So I, I was uh, even in battle game as one. well. I, I'm not even probably usually Yoshi. Yeah. I think <laughs> yeah. I think my brother usually played Toad, and my my sister would use Peach. Uh -huh. So we were. Somehow using the best three characters yeah. <laughs> in the game. Uh, nice. Didn't even know it, I don't think. Did you play much battle game? I, I imagine we did. I, I barely even yeah. remember. Right, I right. definitely remember playing a lot of two-player Grand Prix. Um, not even really against my brother, just trying to get top two. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, we definitely played a decent amount of battle as, as well. Cool, cool. Well, thank you so much for the interview. That was an awesome run. Yeah, thank Before you. Before we move on to uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 Mix, which is we had that interview with the runners earlier today, um, we are going to hear a quick bit from Edo Bean about prizes. So uh, stay tuned. Hey, everyone. Uh, Edo here. We're going to talk about some prizes that we got for you guys. Um, starting off, uh, I know there's a couple of prizes that are on the side um, that you saw uh, on our interview table, such as the Jungle Green HDMI modded N64. 
um, which has been donated by Andy uh, J. Retro. If you donate $30 right now, you'll get your chance to win at that. Um, also, we have a couple of other prizes I'm going to show you guys. So first thing we have here is this <laughs> Super Mario RPG Bowser Chain and Chomp Amiibo little set here. It's really nice, pretty cute. I love the Chain Chomp. He's so cute. Just look at him. He's just like, yeah, Chomp, Chomp, Chomp. In technicality, it Chain comes off, <laughs> so you could probably put him like with any other Amiibo if you want to. So maybe if you want Mario to have the Chain Chomp, or if you want uh, Princess Peach to have the Chain Chomp, you can also do that. Uh, Chibi Silver Rings uh, is the one who donated this, and you will put in uh, $15 if you want to get your chance to win that. Uh, next thing we have up is this, ooh, big frame. I'm so sorry. What a beautiful isometric mushroom kingdom castle. This was donated by uh, regtech.exe. It's really nicely done. I love the way it looks. It's, it looks watercolor, but I know it's probably more than just that, but very, very beautiful of the Princess Beach castle. Once again, if you donate $20 right now, you might get your chance in winning this. And this is a really nice, Beautiful frame, I love it, it's really cool. Have it in your nice uh, room, living room. Nice addition right there. All right, next up we got the uh, world map from Super Mario RPG, right here. Nicely watercolor, this was uh, donated by Studio Pen Pen. If you donate $10, you'll get your chance to win this. Uh, for you uh, Super Mario RPG fans, obviously this is the world map, so you can see a bunch of the places, like Star Haven, your, your Nimbus land over here, uh, Bowser's Castle, which has been taken over for now. For now. Justin's got it on this, so. <laughs> Next one, we got a Super Mario oh, 1 through 3 cross stitch. All the different Marios that you can see from the first to the third. Look at that. So beautiful. Yeah, let's get around about that. Come on, come on. It's so beautiful. Look at it. This was donated by Julia Z, and if uh, you donate $10, you'll get your chance to win this. It's a really cute, simple, sometimes Simple is the way to go. And next we got, ooh, okay, so this is what I'm a little bit giddy about because I'm a big fan of Super Mario RPG. So um, from uh, uh, Davey and Atoga, we got these SMRPG Perler sets. So the first one we got is Princess Peach, or Toad School as she was back in the day. And we got Mario here, who got uh, a little trying to be the Xer. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting face you want to see for Mario. We have the lovely Gino here, everyone's favorite. Gino! Come on, who wants Gino in Smash? Come on, guys. This is, this is the one we've been waiting for. Nintendo, get on it, please, thank you. We also have the very, very sad, but still lovable, mm. Bowser. He's so cute. I want to take him home myself, so, but he's another little addition. We also have two little Perlers, in addition with it, one is Gino, and then we have Jinx Doo -doo -doo, from the Monster Towns. So this is really, so if technicality, this is to scale, right? This is one of one one scale, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure without that. And then last but not least, we have the adorable Malo. Look at him, isn't he cute? The cutest tadpole ever, right? Yeah, tadpole, right? Yeah, pretty sure, pretty sure. So if you uh, donate just $5, you can get your chance to win this whole Perler set. We also have a couple of items that was in the inter uh, interview section, such as the Super Mario RPG Cross Stitch, which is, you know, everyone's favorite OTP of, you know, Mario, Bowser, and Booster, because, you know, that's the real, real canon stuff right there. Uh, Pidge Zero One donated that to us, and if you donate $10, you'll get your chance to win that. Um, we also have a Super Mario RPG Extra Perler, a different one. Um, it's actually on a stand. And you can get that also donated by Pitch01, and you can get that for $5 as well. We have the Super Mario World Autumn Map Canvas. Beautiful canvas, beautifully done. Um, it has been donated by Studio Pen Pen again, and you will donate $10 if you want to get your chance at that. We also have a couple other ones, such as the Wood Burn Super Mario uh, Brothers 3. It's uh, Mario and the Tanuki. It's really cute. It's like a little plaque, so to speak. Um, it's a me underscore Alex donated, and you can get your chance if you donate $15 for that. We have a bunch of other prizes here going on. So we have the, once again, that Jungle Green HDMI modded 64, beautiful to look at. Um, if you've never had an N64, this might be your chance. If you donate $30, you can get one, and it's, it's gorgeous looking. I almost wish I had one. I have a normal one, so. And then we have the Super Mario Brothers 3 um, Wart Plural. So, Warp, really great guy. 
um, but mm, he's a little bit of a baddie. So, but if you donate five dollars, you'll get your chance to win that as well. And and that's what we have for today. Donate right now. You have now until Medal of Honor Air March. So you have a long time to send in those donations if you want to win some of these really, really cool prizes. They're all here. They're really cute. You want them. We know you want them. So make sure you guys don't send in those donations now. Coming up next is Super Mario Brothers 3 Mix with our amazing runners. So, and that's where we have it for you. Thank you guys so much, and take it away, host.